SAVE, C air vaccination exercise. It's very important um, for us to do this exercise to vaccinate 37,000 of our frontliners in maritime and aviation industry. So today we have um, about 3,000 capacity vaccinations happening, 2,000 at Changi Airport, 1,000 at Raffles City Convention Center. For the whole week, we have 13,000 workers, frontliners already registered, and I am encouraged by the number, and I hope in the coming weeks more will come. We all know that the aviation industry is decimated by COVID-19, but we must have the determination that when the crisis passes, Singapore will be an aviation hub of the region and the world again, which is why we are doing so many different schemes like Green Lane, uh, air travel bubble, unilateral openings, segregated travel that will come soon. All these will help position ourselves for the recovery. So although our passenger volume is low, our belief and our confidence and the world's belief and confidence that we will once again be an aviation hub, that must be high. This, this is a huge advantage in terms of our brand name. So our airport, seaport can be substantially vaccinated Singapore Airlines can be the first vaccinated international airline of the world. By doing this, we are protecting Singapore. Because if we look at the situation in Singapore, it is largely under control. Every week we have a handful of community cases. In many days, in fact, when we look at our WhatsApp, it's zero and we're all very happy. But outside of Singapore, the virus is raging like wildfire. And you know, in nature, water finds its own level. So the virus will find all ways to try to infiltrate into Singapore and spread within Singapore. So all our 37,000 frontliners, they are defenders of our borders because the borders are a key vulnerability in Singapore now. So I urge all our frontliners step forward as many of them have this week and continue to do so, keep the momentum up and rise up against COVID-19.